Hello and welcome to Cutleaf Productions YouTube channel. First of all, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's come over to the channel so far and hit that sub button. I think we're on 802 subscribers and I haven't even put out my first video yet. So thank you and I hope these videos are worth your time. So we're gonna be talking about how to print your mini pictures, how to take pictures on a mini that look like this. So you've got like some panoramic, some other crazy stuff going on with the pictures. We'll also be talking about how to set up a business with the mini as well and how to make money using it because I know that's what a lot of people are interested in. So there's a lot to cover, but I'd also like to hear what you guys wanna see as well. So just put that in the comments section below. Um, but the title of the video is how to print your mini pictures. So let's jump into it and get started. So I have some pictures here that I've ordered from my supplier. And before I tell you who they are, I thought I'd show you how they come packaged uh, and everything. So this is the box that they arrived in. Very neat, very tidy. And we'll just jump into opening it. So the inside, again, neatly packaged. Ooh. So if you order anything that's like an A2 size or a panoramic picture, they'll usually come in tubes. And then anything A3, A4, a bit smaller, will come in a cello and hard card back as well. I think that's how you say it, cello, I'm not sure. So all of these pictures were taken on the Mavic Mini and edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. The first one that I'll show you is A4. So this one is on a metallic paper, which is really nice. Again, A4 size, but if I bring it a bit closer, there, the colors and the quality of paper are amazing. And again, I know this is A4, but it still looks stunning. And this is on a Fujifilm paper, I believe, a uh, professional paper. I don't know much about printing, but I found this company and I was blown away with the quality of the prints. I did try a, f a few other suppliers, but they just weren't the same. It just wasn't the same quality. And again, we have another one on gloss paper. So it's slightly different to the metallic. The metallic's a little bit more expensive. We have this one that was taken on the mini as well. And then if we get into the tube, this is an A2 um, and it's off a marina. Wow, looks amazing. So this is an A2 print of a marina picture that I took not long ago. And like I said, I'll get closer to show you the quality shortly. There's so much you can do with the mini and you don't need these higher end drones to pull off some of these shots. We've also got another A2 as well, which is a sunrise picture of a harbor with a little bit of editing in Lightroom and Photoshop on an A2 size. And as you can see, the quality is still really good. And if we just size that up to the A4, there we go, that's the A4. And there's your A2. Okay, so jumping into it, I'm gonna show you who I use as my supplier for the prints. So if we just open, so if we just open it up, there we go. So they're called Loxley Color. Now these guys are based in Glasgow in Scotland. Let's have a look through the top tab here. So we got prints, albums, books, wall products, framing, presentation, USB products, etc., etc. Now feel free to navigate through the website, but what we're gonna be focusing on is the prints so go ahead and click that now as you can see here we've got photographic prints whatever that says prints print usb box print box mini print box the, the options are endless so what we're going to do though we're going to go into photographic prints and just click that and what that'll take you to is this page here and just down here you'll see print finishes so they have four options classic options which is gloss luster metallic and velvet now gloss and luster are the same price but metallic and velvet are a little bit more expensive so what we're going to do you can see here as well sizes and pricing print finishes mountain laminating etc so what we're going to do we're going to hit order now and this will take you to a loading screen 
and where you can upload your images. I've already had two uploaded here um, and I'm just gonna put that one in, which is Shellstone Pool. Again, taken on the Mavic Mini, edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. Now, quantity, one, two, three, four, five. Size, we're gonna go, you've got all these options here. Standard sizes, square, A4, A3, A2, A1, panoramic, other and then also you have enter your own custom size which i think is a really nice touch and then once we've chosen our desired size i'm going to go a4 and as you can see that'll cost me two pounds 26 now what we can do we can add a border to these prints so we can go quarter of an inch half an inch three quarters or one inch it doesn't cost you any extra it's just really nice if you don't want to get a mount for your picture or you want to leave a bit of space around the edges that's what you can do. And then we have the finishes. So as I said, luster and gloss are the same price. However, if we go to Felbit, that'll take the price up to £3.39 and it'll be the same for metallic. Now this price will change more expensive the higher you go in this, uh, the bigger you go in size. So if we go to A2, if you want it Felbit, it's £14.90. Now, if you want that on a luster finish, for instance, it will be near enough five pound less. And then we also can add mount boards. So card mounts, phone boards, if you don't want to frame it and just hang it straight away. And then we have laminates as well. So we have like a, we have a satin heat seal that you can add to the picture, which again, will add on to the price to 20 pound 32. And if that's on velvet or metallic, say, that's going to be 25, 29. But again, the quality of these prints are amazing. Say for instance, we're gonna add that to the basket. Brilliant. And then what that will do is allow us to add more or we can check out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and check out. And then from there, all you do is you click continue and it'll take you to your delivery address and billing address. So that's who I use for my prints. This is in no way a sponsored video. I've just been using them for a long, long time now and I've been very impressed with their work. By all means, test your local suppliers, your local printmakers, your own printer, get lots of different versions, see what works best for you and then go with that. I'm not telling you to order through these guys, I'm just showing you who I order through. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that sub button if you haven't already and I'll see you next week for another tutorial.